Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials. But today we get to open this big package sent to me by Flycalf. I will put them down in the description box below. They seem to have some really, really cool stuff. So should we open this today, Landon? No. No? He's two, everything is no. So as always, this is actually I think a sister company of Fly Seahorse where I received a bunch of fun and stuff from them before. So this is the cookie cutters and as always it comes in that package that looks like that and lots and lots of bubble wrap. But this looks like really a lot of fun so let's get into this. So first of all they all come in these great little packages and then I will show you that up close. And then they also have this little thank you card right at the back. Should we open it and see what's inside? Oh my goodness. These are not your ordinary, just regular run of the mill cookie cutters like my cookie cutter wall. These are like detailed cookie cutters. Here you get your just kind of regular heart cookie cutter. Now this is plastic, but we've also got this. The idea is that you're gonna cut this out and then you're going to imprint this inside. Fabulous, this one's so cute. Landon, which one do you have? This one is great, a little hibiscus. And again, you get just the regular shape and then you've got that imprint in there. And you could easily do this with the regular shape if you just want the shape and then have the imprint separate. My son is now taking a little bit of a snack break. So um, I'm gonna move on to the next package here. So far, really impressed. And again, all the packages come like this. Lots of packaging. I'm assuming because it comes from pretty far so they wanna protect it. Wow, wow, there is just so much stuff here. Oh, this one is cute. You guys are gonna love this one. Or at least I do. I shouldn't speak for what you're gonna <laughs> what you're gonna like and not gonna like. How cute is that one? And you can honestly, you can fudge this flower a little bit too. You can do whatever you want or you can have it flat like that. So cute. I know flamingos were very trendy like starting a couple of years ago, but I still I still feel like they are it. Oh, love this one. This is so perfect because I have um, some tropical cakes coming up. Some of you might be wondering what's the difference between a fondant cutter and a cookie cutter. Um, the difference is, is that usually fondant cutters are a lot smaller and they're a lot more shallow. You can utilize cookie cutters for uh, both and because these are such detailed cookie cutters, you really can get away with it. This little leaf here, perfect. So on trend. So, so on trend. What? I am telling you, this is my honest reaction. I am so excited for these cookie cutters. I can't even begin to tell you guys. It's so cute. Ice cream cone truck. I want to make all of these. I've seen a lot of cookie cutters in my time. And I'm uh, like, wow. Another flamingo cutter. Fantastic. I, I'm not over exaggerating, I swear. If you've watched my videos before, you know that when I'm truly excited about something, I can't hold it in. How cute is this little cyclone lolly? When I was a little girl, we would always get popsicles from the ice cream truck, but it was a very, very special treat, especially if you were at a park or something, and we would always get something called the Cyclone. I don't know if that's American or Canadian. I feel like when you're Canadian, you get a lot of American stuff and you're not sure which is which. Um, and it's like this blue and white and red um, ice cream lolly, and it's just so delicious. And this is beautiful, perfect for that. This one, guys. <laughs> I have never seen something so detailed like this. It's so beautiful. That detailing there, it's, it's amazing. It's impeccable. And we're going to see how these perform later on in the video. Okay, I realize I'm kind of sounding like, you know, when you're at a baby shower and you feel like you have to react to every single thing. Um, and, and everything is adorable and everything is cute, but sometimes it starts to sound a little bit disingenuous. I, I'm real, this, I'm floored. I am floored by how cute 
cute, detailed, carefully thought out these are. We'll see how this, I'm going to try this one out I think because I want to see how it comes out. Super detailed, beautiful ice cream cone. It even gives you the cross hatches right there too. I actually don't own anything like this. It's like a little mason jar and it's filled with strawberries. So next package. So we've got just a plain oval, but it's never just plain with this company. Look at how cute that is. Nice up close shot of a flamingo. You know, when you get new products and you just want a cookie all day, that's what I want to do right now, all day. So from my experience, a lot of people like shaped things. I found that when I said, oh, I don't have that cookie cutter shape, I need to put it on a circle or a heart or some sort, people would have preferred that I just hand cut it for an extra dollar per cookie. But I am so pleased to see that not only did they have plaques that had the press-ins, they also have things like this. Amazing, it's a little palm tree. Again, I'm worried about this thinness, so I am going to try it out in this video. And I love that it is, in fact, a flamingo shape, and you could easily use this with fondant too. I love that. And what a, what a fun little take on the pineapple. And let's say you didn't want those sunglasses, you could easily just pipe over them. Could be a little cup of orange juice, could be lemonade, could be a little mojito, whatever suits your needs. So before I go and check out how these cookie cutters actually perform, I want to talk about what exactly it included. So every single box included a bunch of cellophane bags that you can actually wrap your cookies in, which is a really nice touch that I don't see very often in cookie cutter orders. The other thing that I like is that the plastic feels pretty strong, a little bit flexible, and you get all of those detailings in there. Now this is great if you're just starting out as a cookier because if you're not really great at freehanding yet or if you don't want to take out your projector and find the picture and everything, it's an easy one, two, three stamp. And if you're doing a lot of cookies at once, this is great because you know that it's going to be the same every single time. Don't throw out these boxes if you get them. I love using them for royal icing transfers, just like I utilized this one. So now let's go see how these actually perform in cookie dough and how they bake up. I must apologize for the difference in sound, guys. When I'm doing my voiceovers versus when I'm just talking straight to the camera, it always seems to turn out just a little bit different. Still working on that audio as usual. But let's get to the actual cookie cutting. Now, I'm just using my classic sugar cookie dough here. It's very no spread, so I didn't even have to chill these cookies. And you will see in a few minutes here what they look like once they're all baked up. Now, as I previously mentioned, I was a little bit worried with these types of cutters that had really, really narrow spaces, but it honestly wasn't too, too bad getting them out of the cookie cutter. It felt very similar as to when you tried to use your grad hat cookie cutter, which also has that very narrow, thin space. Now, as I said before, there is a little bit of flexibility with the plastic, but when I was cutting it, there was no movement whatsoever, which is fantastic because, of course, we don't want that cookie cutter moving and shifting around as we're trying to make a perfect cut. I also felt it was very, very satisfying to press into the dough. Having that little piece at the back of the press seems like something so small, but that little addition really gives you the leverage that you need in order to make a really, really clean cut. Now for something that's a little bit more detailed like this truck, I was still a little bit skeptical if all those details would be able to be imprinted in there, but they were. I also thought that just maybe my cookie recipe might kind of meld into one another and then we'd lose some of that detail, but when they came out of the oven after 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, just like all of my other sugar cookies, they came out with these beautiful impressions and tons and tons of detail. And taking a look at their website, they seem to have a lot of really cool options. And it appears that they have some sort of sale going on with these particular summer cutters. So definitely go and check them out. Once again, I will leave all of their information down in the description box below. Now let's get to the subscriber submission of the day. This one comes from Jennifer. And Jennifer is just starting out with all of this cake and cookie decorating. She is a hobby baker. And she utilized a lot of my different tutorials in which I use fun to cover my cakes to create this beautiful creation. This was sent to me through my Facebook page, which is Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, but you can also send all of your submissions to me at SD Bake Shop, where you can tag me in any of the photos that you possibly want shared on this channel. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Blow kisses!